what's going on guys it's Keda here and I have recently bought this power bank for a really cheap price you know I got this for $2.40 or something like that and I will post the link down below so you can buy it in this package I got this power bank without the battery so that's for sure that's why it is cheap and with this I get this kind of keychain ring and this uh, power cable only power cable not data and uh, let me show you close look inside the chip taking out the uh, chip from this power bank is very easy just pull out this circuit board and you you are in so it has two LED slots but they have installed only one and on the back side here is the IC from hot chip and very minimalistic design you can see few resistors only one inductor and main IC ok so right now I have removed the negative terminal of the circuit board and connected to my power supply it is controlled power supply and uh, I'm, right now I am giving 3.5 volt as you can see it starts at 3.5 volt and gives 5.1 volt output and if this circuit board doesn't detect any kind of load then it will automatically turn off the output that uh, switching switching process is top so it will take very minimal amount of power ok so that was the testing without the load and I am going to connect the load now I have connected 10, 10 ohm load and as you can see right now the light started to blink started actually and uh, the voltage is dropped input is 3.5 and output is 4.1 it is not 5 so not happy charging and now I disconnected the load and it will t automatically shut off after 5 seconds and the voltage is dropped so it does not maintain the voltage properly I think but as you can see input is 3.5 and output 4.2 at 1.7 amp right now as you can see here It is consuming 1.673 milliamps and it does get somewhat hot during this process as you can see it is as you can see it is 45 degree so it is definitely getting warm and another thing that I have noticed that while the charging of this power bank it, it also heats up so right now I am charging this power bank with uh, 2 amps so it it's got heated up to i think 36 degree and it's not very hot to touch but it's definitely in take it, taken into consideration okay so that was the first chip and it started conversion at 3.5 volts but this chip right here can convert 5 volts with only 600 millivolts of input and right now I'm going to show you now I have connected this chip right here and you can see the voltage now and I'm enabling the voltage and as you can see at 0 0.07 volts it is getting same kind of voltage but somewhat losses there 
and now I'm slowly going to increase as you can see 0.4 volt and out at the output getting 0.5 volt so you can see at about 5.5 to 6 it suddenly jumped to 5 volt but uh, at this stage you you cannot getting that much sufficient current so right now I have set it the 1.7 amps current limit but as you can see when I connect the load it suddenly drops to 0.2 volts so it's not very usable at this voltage so I'm going to increase the voltage you can use this converter so at 1 volt means very good so you can connect this AAA battery and do this so let's increase the voltage further and as you can see probably the light has just started to glowing so let's jump to 3.5 same voltage that we have given to the previous chip ok so now I am going to connect the load and see how much power it draws the previous chip can handle 5 watts easily but this chip as you can see right here it's dropped below the 3.3 volts means it is not even usable at this stage but as you can see it is drawing 900 milliamps only so that is the limitation of this chip and uh, it is drawing about 3 watts of power 3.2 watts of power so for higher amount of power you cannot uh, use this chip but uh, for a lower power applications like uh, solar uh, solar charging or other kind of applications you can use this chip so this solar cell is very short uh, very small in size as you can see but uh, it gives 0 0.5 volts with uh, 300 milliamps of current so you can directly hook up this solar cell to this chip and it can give 5 volts and so uh, normal batteries need 4.2 volts to charge fully and with the help of this charger you can able to charge uh, your battery with this small solar cell and if you connected 3 of these cells or 4 cells in series then you can make a quite a good charger out of this chip ok to sum up the video in, to compare these both chips the first chip that I have showed can handle 5 watts of power and give maximum 1.5 amps of current but the voltage cannot maintain so it can drop at 4 volts and if the load is increased further then it can go further down below so it is not very usable but still good for this price and about this chip you can use this chip for very low voltages like the solar, solar cell or other kind of applications but it can handle only 3 watts of power so take that in mind and hope you learn something from this video guys and uh, be sure to like this video and share this video with your friends and goodbye